Hey, hey guys, it is your girl Taja, and I'm super excited about this video today. I'm gonna be giving you guys a couple of my personal opinions on the traits that make men really attractive, super irresistible, extra confident, etc. right? You wanted to know all tell all, that's what today's video is all about, so I want you guys to listen up. Coming up first, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I know it may seem a little shallow, but personal appearance, all right? Now, let me be clear. This does not mean you are a David Beckham or, you know, the super Denzel Washington, whatever, in appearance, right? But it is very important that you are grooming yourself. What does that mean? If you have the type of hair where you need to get a haircut regularly, or maybe you grow a lot of facial hair, you need to be maintaining that. I am a woman, I know what I'm talking about, I know how women think. Like a lot of your personality matters, et cetera. We're gonna talk about that, but you need to upkeep the way that you look. Just as you want something nice to look at, most men are like that, right? As women, we want the same thing, all right? Keep your appearance looking good. Clean under those fingernails. Iron your shirt. Make sure that your hair is done. If you have longer hair, like maybe dreads or maybe just like long hair, keep it clean. It's not to say you're gonna look like a model all the time, but I'm telling you from a personal perspective that personal upkeep is so, so important, okay? Now listen, I know some women may not care about that, but I do, <laughs> and I know most women care. Not all, but it is very, very important, especially for a confident and you know alpha male, they care about their appearance, all right? Now, the next thing is gonna be personality. This is actually, for me personally, the biggest one, actually. Even aside from personal grooming, like if we're gonna end up dating or talking, we can work on that, but your personality is so, so big for me personally, okay? I've gotta be able to connect with you. And here's the reality. You know, you're not gonna connect with every woman, right? There's some that you may get along with a little better than others, or your personality may not mesh with every woman, but personality plays a huge role in it, okay? Do you know how to hold a conversation? Do you know how to talk about topics, not just on the surface level, but more in depth? That's just me. I'm a person of substance, and I know most women are. Most quality women are women of substance. So they don't wanna just talk about surface level things and you just always like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have any thoughts on that, I don't have any thoughts on this. Personality-wise, do you have intelligence? Like, are you doing things to improve not only your personality, maybe make yourself more approachable, et cetera, are you educating yourself? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you listen to YouTube videos? Like, what are you doing to enhance that? A big part of personality is obviously like how we communicate with others and, you know, different personality traits that we have, but it also, intelligence plays a part in that, right? Now, let me see some of the notes I have here. A sense of humor. That's huge for me, okay? One thing about Taj, I love to laugh. <laughs> so if you can make me laugh or we have the same sense of humor, that's a big thing. Now, I'm not saying if you don't have a sense of humor, you don't have to be like Kevin Hart and be the next comedian, but do you have like just a more playful, not super playful, because like we don't want to go all the way there either, because that's annoying. Like I can mention that to men. If you're always on joke time, huge turn off, huge turn off. OK, but a sense of humor, the ability to make others feel comfortable, not just me personally, but the other people around you. If we go out to eat, are you going to make the waiter feel comfortable? If you park your car with valet, are you going to make them feel comfortable and welcoming, etc.? Huge, huge thing that you need to remember, right? Um, a man who is comfortable in his own skin and can carry a conversation without being overly aggressive or arrogant, all right? So personality, huge thing for me right? Now, the next one. This channel is literally about confidence, right? So that is obviously going to be the next one. Do you know yourself and your own abilities? You are a man. It is time that you learn to be confident in yourself. If you are not, you can totally get there. You need to just watch, keep watching my videos, right? But do you know yourself? Do you know who you are? Confidence does not equate to arrogance. I will say that over and over and over and over again. I think sometimes people think, well, I've got to be like the most arrogant man in the world. No, that actually is literally the complete opposite of confidence. Confidence, is there is a humility about it, right? But a confident man for me, 
you're not even going to get in the door if you're not confident for me, okay? So if I think that, again, I'm sure other women are thinking that. Um, confidence manifests itself in a number of ways, from the way that you carry yourself to the way you speak and interact with others, right? And so I've mentioned this before. You've got to determine this internal confidence, love for yourself, understanding your capabilities and abilities, let me tell you rule number one, if you're out on, on a date with a woman and you are constantly critiquing everything about yourself over and over and over again, I don't like this. I should have did this. I don't, it's a huge turnoff. I'm telling you, I'm looking you dead in your eye. Don't do that. Okay. So confidence, that trait, listen, you're going to be irresistible. You're not going to have any problems. Trust me. Next ambition keep saying like the previous one was the best one but every time I look at the next one I'm like this is the best one ambition is huge all right now I say this often ambition does not mean hey I've got to make a billion dollars next year it doesn't equate to money necessarily but what it does mean is that you have goal standards and just this desire to do more in life not be you know, status quo, do everything on an average level, have no goals or ambitions. And there's my phone ringing, but we're going to go ahead and mute that. <laughs> you know, you've got to ask yourself, what are the things in life that I want to achieve? Right. And so that is a huge part of this one. Let me look at my notes here. Ambition, career goals, personal goals, or even a desire to make a positive impact on the world. Like, if you want to start a nonprofit, or maybe you want to organize a fundraiser, there just has to be some desire to do something good in the life of others or those close to you, etc. Most women want to see this, right? A man who's working towards something can be really appealing to those who want to be a part of your journey. And so if you want a woman to be a part of your journey and you want her to maybe follow you, if you want to be in leadership, you got to have some level of ambition to you. And it's super attractive. Trust me, most women love this. Next, an attractive man is a man who knows how to control his emotions. Now, I talk about this in so many of my videos. I'm not saying a man doesn't have emotions. I'm not saying a man cannot express emotions. But it is the ability to control them. Do you have the ability to do that? Maybe you had anger issues or grew up not knowing how to control that. Well, you're a man now, so it's time that you put the demand on yourself to learn how to do that, whether you need therapy or you practice different strategies, et cetera. You've got to know how to control your emotions. You should not be super high one day, super low the next. Not know how to express how you feel, et cetera. That is a part of maturity. That is a part of confidence. That is a part of growing, is learning how to control your emotions. All right. So these are a couple of my personal traits. Um, I find these things so attractive. And I believe that men who possess a combination of these are completely irresistible. Like, there's really not much <laughs> that you can do to turn me off personally if you have majority of these. Really, honestly, okay, I'm going to be honest. For me, it's, you're going to have to have all of them. But for the average woman, maybe you just need a couple of them. But I want you to remember something. At the end of the day, it's going to take some work if you're not already here and possess these. It's going to take some willpower. And you're going to have to really desire to change. But every man can have these things. From personal appearance to ambition to controlling their emotions and confidence. And if I missed any or you want to add some for your own life, then do that. But women value these things. And so I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you have listened to me, pay attention to what I'm saying, because I know what I'm talking about, and you apply it to your life. Now, my name is Taja. This is a channel about all things confidence. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and ultimately subscribe to my channel for all content just like this. I'll see you guys next time.